So remdesivir is a is an antiviral drug. Um, it was first trialed against Ebola, um, and it's been studied in several randomized clinical trials now against uh, coronavirus. And so for the National Institutes of Health trial, we were one of the sites um, in the United States. The press release came out from the NIH that, based on um, early analyses of the first several hundred patients who were enrolled in the study, that uh, there was evidence of um, efficacy. So it decreased um, it, it decreased the time to recovery, and then also there was a trend towards improved mortality in those who receive remdesivir as compared to those who receive placebo. It's really a game changer for the field to, to know, first of all, that having um, an antiviral drug that works to, um, to prevent uh, real clinical outcomes, to improve clinical outcomes, is, is just so important. Um, the way that this study was designed, we, um, we enrolled everybody who had evidence of pneumonia um, in the hospital, and so that included people who were quite sick. Um, and I think that what we'll find as more studies emerge is that giving it earlier will probably be even better. The drug is intravenous. Um, it's probably only going to be used in people who are hospitalized for coronavirus, but it does give hope for the people who are sick enough to be hospitalized to receive a treatment that could um, decrease their mortality and then decrease the, the amount of time it takes for them to get better. I think what this shows more than anything else is that you need to do randomized clinical trials, that people need to have um, a clear comparison against a placebo for us to know if something works.